I think we can recognize this picture clearly as being a kidney. I think we can recognize this as being the external surface. And here is a flat cut surface. Here is a uh, medulla, a pyramid. And this lighter stuff uh, is the cortex. And here are the uh, renal columns uh, between the uh, pyramids. In all honesty, the, the main way this kidney differs from normal kidneys is that if you look at the surface of the kidney, it is not smooth at all. A kidney surface should be as smooth surface as a liver or a spleen. This one is very granular. Now here's a cut section, microscopic section, through that same kidney. I think you could recognize this instantly as being a kidney because you could see a whole bunch of glomeruli. But even though you could recognize perhaps this, 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 as being uh, fairly normal glomeruli within the cortex, there are probably a heck of a lot more that don't seem to have much uh, texture to them at all. They seem to be fibrosed or hyalinized or sclerosed like this one, 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 this one. There are more sclerosed glomeruli in this kidney than there are normal ones. This is diabetic glomerulosclerosis. Another name for this disease is Kimmel-Steele-Wilson disease. Also notice that the cortex does have little uh, patches of chronic inflammatory cells. And also notice that some of the inflammatory cells fill up the uh, degenerated tubules as well. So this is a very uh, classical uh, appearance seen with many diabetics. But once again, the main feature is that many, if not most, of the glomeruli are hyalinized, whereas the nice capillary tuft patterns like you see here, and here, and here, are basically virtually entirely replaced by just scar tissue. This is a hyalinized glomerulus. And here's a hyalinized glomerulus. And here's one that's not really very hyalinized. It's fairly normal. Here's a hyalinized glomerulus. Here's a hyalinized glomerulus. And here's a relatively normal glomerulus. And here's a relatively normal glomerulus. Thank you very much.